My name is Jeff Winter, and I am an industry executive for manufacturing with Microsoft. What that basically means is I help U.S. manufacturers digitally transform and scale. I got my degree in 2005 in electrical engineering technology, but have mostly been in sales and marketing related roles throughout my 17 year career so far with a small stint in operations. I've been in the manufacturing industry the whole time, working in a variety of different industrial automation hardware manufacturers and then spending about eight and a half years as a systems integrator before joining Microsoft. Hi, I'm Dave Lafferty. I have over 40 years of experience in the oil and gas industry. My specialty is the digitization of the energy sector. I spent 10 years with the Chief Technology Office at BP, where I helped digitize BP. I now have a consulting firm where I help companies go to market with new digital technology. And I'm also an advisor to a number of companies to help them roll in concepts such as IIoT. Hi, my name is Ryan Kershaw. I'm an account executive with Litmus Automation. Prior to that, I spent 20 years in the instrumentation controls industry. Uh, in ISA, I currently work with the, the Smart Manufacturing and IIoT uh, Technical Division. Uh, previously, I was a district vice president for District 13. I've also been a vice president for the Canadian Process Control Association. Uh, on the educational side, I've uh, done courses all over the place, uh, sales, manufacturing, uh, technology, uh, you name it. I've got a BBA from Yorkville University and a uh, got my cap from ISA uh, about a year or so ago. Hello, my name is Scott Summer. I'm the department manager for automation, instrumentation and controls for GPS Group Global in the Philadelphia office. I've just celebrated my 41st anniversary in the automation industry and have worked in industries such as pulp and paper, food and beverage, pharmaceutical, chemicals, petrochemical, as well as others. My formal training is in chemical engineering, for which I hold a bachelor's and a master's degree, but my automation training came from immersion in the, in the automation industry, from executing projects, reading, and doing a lot of self-development, and also uh, through mentorship uh, from others. So I've been involved with ISA for about 15 to 20 years. I started out on the section side with ISA Toronto, uh, moved up through District 13 as the district vice president there, uh, which got me involved with some of the international aspects of ISA. I became familiar with the ISA early on and in fact helped start the initial wireless instrumentation called ISA 100. I've continued to be active in the ISA over the years, contributing mainly towards the integration of new technologies into the automation world. I've been involved with ISA for most years since 1981, when I first started at Conoco Chemicals in Westlake, Louisiana. Since then, I've really developed a passion for training and have been an ISA trainer for the past 15 years. So I've been a part of ISA for five years now initially being drawn in for machine safety and process safety expertise. But right before 2019, my role switched away from safety and switched to Industry 4.0, which is when I really started to get involved with ISA. I've seen that the impact of this new technology meant that the automation professionals needed to bring to bear new skills because the business is fundamentally changing how it's operating. I really saw it as a potential uh, area where I could contribute. I uh, learned more, especially about this new industry that I'm in uh, and kind of help out as I could. Um, I became involved in the digital transformation series uh, or actually as a reviewer. Uh, I was asked to do so based on the uh, background that I have and other uh, activities that I've participated with ISA in, uh, mainly in the uh, training areas. So almost three years ago, ISA formed a new smart manufacturing and IIoT division, which was right up my alley. I joined, I got involved, and two years later, I became the division director. And when I heard ISA was developing a digital transformation training series, I thought this would be a great way to get involved and pull the experts from the division in to help contribute and generate some great content. This course could be very useful for automation professionals who most likely have a deep knowledge of conventional automation technology. However, 
are in need of understanding how to apply the new digital technologies to the automation domain. This series is suited for people who have been within industrial automation, but really want to learn more about the vast worlds of Industry 4.0 and digital transformation. This helps bridge the gap between the, the tried and true principles of controls and automation with the newer, more disruptive technologies being explored and adopted across the industry. The intent is to give a more well-rounded view on all of them and how they come together. As with all ISA training, uh, we aim to teach and then reinforce that teaching uh, through hands-on activities. Uh, students shouldn't expect to become experts, but I believe that at the end of this series of training that a student would have all of the tools necessary to actively participate and to efficiently participate in digital transformation projects at their plant site or organization. This training is different for two reasons. First, it's modular based and will keep growing over time. And second, it includes a mix of theory and strategy with hands-on practical applications that are related to real world controls and automation professionals that they live in every day. This coursework is really gonna take a look at the holistic view of the digital transformation aspect of industry four. This is important, and this is where we end up differing from many other courses that are out there. Digital transformation is still a fairly new topic. However, a lot of organizations have taken upon themselves to create training materials uh, on the subject. ISA is the only organization that's really looking at digital transformation from the automation engineer's perspective. Many other courses look at it from a cost or uh, an efficiency or uh, from other operational aspects and also include digital transformation in a larger scope that which include uh, governance, uh, regulatory uh, issues, as well as business issues. From ISA standpoint, we are focused on the automation engineer and what the automation engineer needs to know in order to participate in a true digital transformation project.